Victim complex is a psychological disorder manifesting in both individuals and groups and is the defining feature of a Kriboli. Once upon a time, Jews, ethnic minority groups were suffering genuine persecution, had some cause to complain about the shitty state of affairs that said group was going through. In modern times, of course, what with all the democratic freedoms we enjoy and the general lack of pogroms and gas chambers. Many other oppressed groups have bravely spoken up about the terrifying ordeals they nobly endured, up to and including being looked at funny, being called nasty names, having their deviant and LJ trolled. In short, every idiotic group and individual with a slight is nursing a complex about it, the truly desperate cultivate multiple complexes into an entire bundle wrapped up into deep-seated psychosis, they can then use victimhood as a weapon. The possessor of a victim complex needs some outside authority to blame for their own failures. They can never compensate for their personal challenges in order to do the basic competition necessary to be even minimally successful at life. Those with the most institutional of complexes have created not only an outside persecutor but feel an innate and deep endowment for entitlement, even privilege. In many cases those with a victim complex have foisted their delusion soft persecution onto others and convinced the supposed persecutor into another complex liberal guilt. Those who are members of the class of people supposedly persecuting the victim who don't subscribe to liberal guilt are held up as examples of those who really are persecuting them which just reinforces the complex. I'm a victim too. In liberal permissive societies which preach equality and tolerance, the celebration of minorities and marginalized groups becomes the majority opinion. Such a society believes liberation is progress. A demand for liberation becomes a demand that everyone act in a liberated way and have liberated attitudes. A command emerges for everyone to behave in ways previously thought of as transgressive. If someone refuses, they are seen as being against progress. Since each person is intimidated into having a tolerant attitude to more and more others, it breeds an obsessive fear of harassment, and the right to not be harassed in any way becomes the overriding human right. A system of repressive tolerance emerges, where every voice must be heard, and misinformed opinions are treated with the same respect as informed ones. Victimhood and self-pity become more and more appealing to everyone, as people exploit their right to not be harassed or even challenged and manipulatively prey on other sympathy as a way for individuals and outnumbered groups to dodge responsibility and gain pity and status and privileges while accusing others of being oppressive intolerant hateful bigots and bullies. Which is why I'll commit suicide if I don't get what I want, Bjork. Once they've put on their robe and victimhood, they can become a crud bully and bully others while acting the victim, and use their plus 10 victimhood to silence and suppress any ideas they don't like, victim complex checklist. Do you suspect that somebody you know has a victim complex? Here's a checklist to find out the truth. If the person's behavior satisfies most of the criteria, you know what to do. Is Jewish. Attributes most or all of is her failures to events beyond their control. Believes that the world, or a large group of people, are actively working to oppress them. Is disliked by numerous people, all of whom allegedly misunderstand the person in question. Considers any challenge to their worldview a personal attack. Attributes any sort of perceived negative action against him her to prejudice. Unable to accept criticism, centers is her identity around a cause for example feminism, atheism, gay rights. Crumbles under any form of pressure and is codependent as a result, driven by attention and uses activism to draw attention to themselves. Emotionally manipulative and convinces others that they've been born into oppression. Repeatedly writes to the government for assistance. Victim privilege. Victim privilege is a complementary disorder where one uses their disproportional perception of being oppressed as a crutch to in turn assume they have carte blanche to act oppressive toward others out of spite. Victim privilege is sometimes thinly disguised as irony by the afflicted, but is only validated as such by fellow victims. Online it is an ETD that spreads and support communities for losers. Case study Tumblr, almost raped 16 year old girls making fun of male rights advocates, men's right activist is a joke. Violence against men is a joke. Violence is a joke. Violence against women is a joke. Kill self. Case study Republican forums. Liberals are fascists. Fascism is big brother. Patriot Act is big brother. Republicans created Patriot Act. Kill self. A privileged victim will latch onto any perceived slight as an opportunity to start a crusade and raise awareness. For example as the result of unwittingly using a taboo phrase or word. Privileged victims do not accept apologies. Once they are wound up they go forever, like a perpetual motion machine of righteous indignation, and will perceive any further interaction as oppression, 
The term victim privilege is designed to cause cognitive dissonance when one tells a privileged victim to check their victim privilege. As a last ditch effort to get them to stop and realize how stupid they look, get it? Examples, black people. The classic victim complex is that of the there are no black people on the internet, which has no more merit because the white majority in America elected Barack Obama president on second thought, probably due to white guilt. 140 years after the end of slavery, when blacks display a victim complex, they will usually say it is the man, especially the white man and the Korean grocery store owner down the street, who is responsible for the failures of themselves as individuals and for the failures of their race writ large. The underlying reason for the epic and ongoing fail of blacks is supposedly white supremacy, a phrase which they have learned from television and as usual failed to understand properly. Through multiple generations the majority black culture has devalued education, put ignorance on a pedestal, and instituted a strange English dialect, apparently to deliberately hinder any opportunities that might come their way. Instead of attaining personal success through responsibility, Organizations like the NUC demand that the government fix their problems through social engineering such as job quotas and racial preferences. Many go so far as to demand outright monetary reparation for their forefathers in slave, which is their excuse for being lazy and getting money to buy more 40 ounces and menthol light cigarettes. Women. Women. Particularly feminists. Have their own complex as well. Women. To lesser extent. Have the same demands as blacks and the same persecutor in the man. A few women claim to have and analyzed a further victim complex as a result of real personal tragedies such as rape, childhood sexual abuse, or domestic violence some of them aren't lying. Many, many more women, especially lesbians and more militant feminists, have taken on a delusional persecution complex, not because they have been real victims of trauma, but because they could be raped, could have been abused, and might be beaten, all by men, of course, because women never hurt each other, ever. Expressing their fear of these imaginary traumas is not a form of solidarity with their sisters, and definitely not condescending or insulting to real victims, it's a call for help, they need therapy. It is these militants with their complexes who are most likely to browbeat the men in their life into a liberal guilt complex even when those men have never raped, abused, or beaten anyone in their life. Because of this, some men now claim to be oppressed by these militant feminists, and the circle continues. KKK. After several thousand years of actually persecuting minorities, the KKK has gathered quite a few enemies. This allows even the establishments to play the victim card when a whining competition begins. This tactic was originally invented by the establishment but is now commonly applied by white people in general to counter the fierce whining of minorities. Any accusations of foul play or injustice can be dismissed as the other person having a victim complex. This neatly brings the guilt full circle as the man whines about his own victimization by the people he has victimized. Examples of so-called victimization of the man include civil rights advances gained by minorities. If only minorities could be like white people and pull themselves up by enslaving and exploiting fags for economic gain. Christians. After nearly 2000 years of cultural and political dominion in the western world, Christians are now the victim of oppression. The forces of oppression against Christianity are atheism, Islam, homosexuals, erotica, proponents of reproductive choice and proponents of scientific fact. According to Christians, any social or political theory or action that does not support Christian dogma is oppressive and intended to disenfranchise Christians of their social, legal and political standing. Nonetheless, Christians are still a dominant force in the West, with over 70% of all Americans claiming to be Christian, and men are Christian zealots in political, financial and social positions of power. It remains a mystery how the majority can be oppressed. This is only further proof that anyone can play the victim card. Atheists. Of course, since Christianity has been basically emasculated by the establishment and liberal guilt, we should all have entered a golden age of humanism, free thought and enlightenment. The reason we haven't is not because most people who aren't religious don't give enough of a crap to make a religion out of unreligion or jerk off to photos of fossilized dinosaurs while listening to Rush. It's because theists are oppressing the hidden atheist majority. That's right, to the average non-believer. Prayer in Parliament, in God we trust written on currency. Christians stating their beliefs on hot button issues or Muslims ruling through Islamic law in their own countries is mildly annoying and harmless, but to real atheists? It's yet another example of social oppression, just leak witch burning and crusades. 
Their cause would be a lot more effective if they realized that playing the victim card in the smug card simultaneously is not the equivalent of a royal flush. Furries. Furries perhaps one of the most visible, irritating groups on the internet exhibiting the characteristics of the victim complex. Whenever a dissenting opinion is stated, or someone disagrees with their particular form of perversion, cries of persecution can be heard across the tubes. Frequently they'll compare themselves to Jews, since they are apparently being rounded up and gassed in several camps in Germany at this very moment. Goons frequently take the initiative and fill their need for aggressors, even though no one takes it seriously aside from the furries themselves. Nice guys. Nice guys are bitter virgin nerds who believe that they are the only truly nice and caring guys in the world, and because of that, women should fuck them. The idea that because you are nice to someone means you are entitled to sex is the very definition of lunacy, but just try talking some sense into one of these morons. They seriously have their heads so far up their asses that they think that anyone finding success with women is an asshole and that women are only attracted to assholes. They place all the blame for their failed attempts at a relationship solely on the female gender, backing it up with a bible known as the ladder theory. I mean, they are nice. Which surely makes them blameless for their own actions. The irony is most of these fags are bitter misanthropes who would rarely be considered nice by anyone. They most likely have built up a delusion that they are automatically nice because they are nerds, and nerds are always nice in movies. Victim complex on steroids. Wiccans. Wiccans can claim victim status because their ancient religious tradition was eradicated by the Christians at least 100 years ago. Although the Wiccan tradition didn't exist before the middle of the 20th century. Furthermore, they believe that their religious beliefs are not respected by the mainstream population, and as we all know, ridicule is the same as oppression. Examples of Wiccan oppression include the restriction of the Wiccan Bible in public libraries, the failure of public schools to teach the principles of magic and science classes, and the inevitable flaming and trolling of self-identified Wiccans on public forums. Scientologists. Scientologists aka Syphigs, Cillans. Clams, etc. are a group apart from all others. If imaginary victimhood was a race, Scientology would be Usain Bolt. Worse than any other religion, major or minor, they will cry religious persecution at the slightest perception of opposition to their dubious and clandestine cult-like practices and efforts to silence those who oppose them. The church has consistently attempted to justify their highly litigious nature and reputation for abusing the legal system as being merely an attempt to defend our religious rights. A veritable blank check for them to attack anyone and everyone who seeks to question their actions. The term SP, suppressive person, an official term the co has used to label those who have criticized their practices or belief system for some time, is not of itself perhaps the most ideal example of many Scientologists deep rooted victim complex. Any who are seen as having valid criticisms of the church's suspicious agenda or who oppose the church's insatiable thirst for wealth and power are naturally so labeled. Of course, the more they fight critics with vexatious lawsuits, the worse their church appears, and the more attackers it finds. More than ever, notable celebrities and heads of the co-administration have attempted to champion themselves as untouchable martyrs in the public eye all the while attempting to control as many people as possible, through their surreptitious machinations. You, you're screwed 16 ways from Sunday. Incorporation of a victim complex into your personality and attitude is probably your best bet. Much in the way that a camper's best bet against a charging bear is to roll into a ball and piss themselves. Society is not as well known for its compassion and mercy as your common North American brown bear, but it's worth a try, and who are you kidding? Are you really going to do anything to improve your situation that doesn't involve a hot jar of peanut butter and some hard-earned goats? Face it your friends don't really like you. Your house is just a convenient stop for peanut butter sandwiches on the way to Jimmy's house from school. Your teachers would rather give you an F than get you out of their hair because they have a unique tolerance reserved for only those who they want to screw over as much as you. And God would love to throw you a bone to save you from continued ass rape by the chance system he devised, but that would be cheating and he doesn't really like you all that much. In conclusion, you are an asshole. Victim drama. It doesn't take an ethnic or gender identity to gain a group identity complex. Many disease or seek out and self-diagnose with popular illness in order to integrate with a larger group for the purpose of commiseration about how the outside world persecutes them and prevents them from succeeding. The reality is that any personal challenge, failure, or even situation that can be internalized into a complex will be, if that complex can be turned back onto some other party to form liberal guilt all the better. 
non sequitur statements that identify such complexes abound, such as I can't go to college because my husband is serving in Iraq. I find this whole woe is me thing fucking pathetic. Like I, I, I don't I don't think there's anything lower than getting on like that. Um, I hate this whole like it's it's so disgusting in my eyes. I, I find it really repulsive because I whenever I look at this like oh woe is me. Um I've I've been I look I look at all my problems that have been forced on me. Suck my fucking dick. Take some fucking responsibility and sort yourself out, would you? Like, you know, there's nothing more ugly than seeing like, you know, a fully grown adult get on like a child. It's fu it's fucking vile. And I thought I thought this video I thought was like you know this article was really good and I thought you know more people need to see it because I thought it puts it into words better this whole victim culture that's going on at the moment and it's fucking disgusting I really don't like it at all and oh it's one of those ones that just fire, fires up the temper you know just the thought of it just like ugh, ugh. Jesus fuck actually it, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth big time. I don't like it at all, and I'm sure most of the people watching this also don't like it at all. So, like, you know, can we just... Like, don't fall for their tricks. They've been using the same tricks. But this has been going on, like, excessively, really badly for, what, like, five, maybe six years now? Like, come on. We, we, all, know the, we all know what's going on. We all get it. So, like, um, I don't know. Hopefully this helped uh, put it into words and uh, what a lot of people already think. So, like, um, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop!